I've had the pleasure of knowing Dr. Robert Mueller for many years, and he's been on our advisory board, still is on the advisory board, and he is a wonderful person. Uh, he was for many years the the Assistant Secretary General, and with a number of, of the different Secretary Generals, he was there probably longer than any of them, and that uh, he contributed a great deal to the work of the United Nations. He was one of the very enthusiastic supporters of the work the UN is doing. And uh, the thing that he added particularly it was the spiritual aspect of the UN, which most people don't pay any attention to. And so he really, you know, filled in a very important part. He did a great deal of writing about the book on happiness, which we just received some copies. and. Uh, so we have had that for a number of years and still have a copy of it. And the other books that he's written that are, uh, there's one on the birth of the global civilization, which I've always liked because he's one of the few peoples that is very much aligned with the way that we look at the work that we're doing, that it's not just another <coughs> addition to the general flow of, of the society, but rather that we're coming into an, totally new civilization, which is global as contrasted to, you know, the West, which was mostly based on Christianity and capitalism and all the things of the that world that's passing away, and that uh, the global civilization allows for us to kind of look at everything again and see that things are changing in a major way. and. Not that that's the end all, there will be that which is beyond the globe, which is the universe that we live in, but uh, he was also aware of that. One of the things that uh, also needs to be mentioned about Robert Mueller as an, such an idealist, he, he wrote a lot of sayings of his down, and uh, he, they go into the thousands, I don't know how many exactly he had. but. Uh, what we have in the New Version of World Scriptures, Volume 2, is he had 10 guidelines for individuals, 10 guidelines for groups, 10 guidelines for, for countries, and then sort of three central principles about how he sees the, the new teachings and the new way of looking at what's emerging in the global civilization. So that's very much a part of what he was doing and we, we were aware of that and got it in there. So we've been able to preserve a good part of what he's about. So we uh, appreciate him very much and it's uh, you know something that we need to continue to focus on because there's so much really enthusiasm about uh, the planet. And I remember things like uh, he would say, that this is a planet of God, meaning that if we see this as a, a planet that really has a meaning to it, that there's something more than all the complicated things financially and uh, militarily and all the other things that are going on, there is this sacred planet which needs our attention so that we can preserve it at the highest level and not destroy it by neglecting those sacred values that, that he talked about. So he, his work needs very much to be preserved. Uh, I should say also that he, in addition to being on our advisory board, was very supportive of Dr. Lucille Green in San Francisco and her work at, toward developing a global people's assembly. He was very supportive of that. He was also supportive of the work to have a separate uh, aspect to the United Nations for a people's assembly at the United Nations. We don't know exactly what the name is that's going to be when it actually happens, but for a number of years <coughs> Lucille was working on that and Robert Mueller was very much involved in that and so are we. Although our version of that is, is rather different from the one that was being developed in San Francisco, nevertheless there is common ground and we support the whole idea, how, whatever form it eventually takes. But Robert Mueller will long be remembered for his many contributions to, to the UN and to the spiritual aspect of the global civilization that's emerging.